i don't see okay yeah uh, i i see uh, people are joining in slowly so uh, good evening everybody and uh, welcome to yet another live session and today's live session is about um, fabric painting and this is part 2 of fabric painting uh, so you would say where is part 1 so part 1 happened last week uh, the link of that will be in the description box um, of this uh, video so if you have not watched it then after this is done after this live is done go and uh, watch that if you have watched it then you obviously know what is um, happening now uh, most of the times okay i see uh, I, a couple of my students have joined so when i say students uh, let me uh, introduce myself briefly i am sujata datta i am a fashion designer and i am a boutique specialist so i said students because i uh, teach fashion designing okay and i also help women to set up their uh, boutique okay so that is in short about me and uh, this is just for the benefit this my students definitely know what is uh, all about what it is all about uh, but uh, you know just for the benefit of everybody i am just uh, i just introduced myself now let's come to the topic uh, let me tell you first of all only that it is going to be a little bit longer session the reason being i have completed the entire uh, one small motif in this session itself okay so pay attention in how the brush stroke is uh, being used and i have also i am continuously uh, telling you in the video what you are supposed to do how you are supposed to uh, take what brush you are supposed to use uh, you know how you are supposed to do the uh, you know take the color Uh, what should be the uh, 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 consistency etc etc so do uh, watch it very carefully pay attention and watch it and um, at the same time i would like to say that you know when you are starting since this uh, this uh, tutorial is mainly for beginners <clears throat> excuse me remember that when you are starting uh you have to start in uh, stages okay it's not that uh, just because now you know the colors or brushes the fabrics etc that you know you will start with the very complicated uh, designs of shading and all that okay so the first thing that you can practice is using line painting now you may say oh line painting that is so boring i won't be able to create beautiful things using line painting well that is not the case one of the very important or very famous indian uh, 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 olden times painting uh, you must have heard is madhubani painting right now that madhubani painting used to be done completely using lines okay that is how that madhubani painting was supposed to be done um, uh, was used to be done and that is what i am going to show you today and um, it is very easy uh, to select a motif very easy like how i have showed earlier go to pinterest just type madhubani art you will get lots of options nowadays uh, madhubani painting is done in sarees kurtas like you know you can do instead of normal embroidery and all madhubani painting is done in dupattas and it is done on silk sarees etc silk fabric and they sell very expensive okay uh, governments are trying to revive our old um, art form so you know this is a very good opportunity for you to practice madhubani you can do it in kids garment so you know you can be very creative and do anything and everything uh, with it earlier times madhubani used to be done uh, outside the houses on the walls or you know like a decor they would uh, do it on paper or fabric and then hang it in the uh, house uh, but uh, because those paintings were you know like uh, vegetable colors organic colors they were not that durable but now because we have fabric painting or acrylic colors in short um, they are being done on fabrics um, uh, in a very big scale it is being done and uh, uh, it's becoming very famous it's very famous abroad it sells on etsy etc etsy is um, etsy and ebay uh, etsy is uh, um, you know uh, uh, a website where people sell handmade things it's very famous in uh, out of india it's not that famous in india yeah uh, there's some hazing okay strange the light is appearing a bit strange okay 
so uh, you know i will start without further ado i will start this immediately uh, this is a recording which i have already done okay today morning i have already uh, done the uh, recording it is a little bit longer video so don't worry about it listen to it carefully you can do your work while watching it while listening to it and i have also put a very uh, soothing music in the back uh, back end so you know uh, in the background so you can treat it like a kind of therapy <laughs> yeah so uh, let me quickly share this okay and um, yes it has started i hope it is audible let me just give me one minute i'll pause it i'm stopping uh, the sharing bit uh, was it uh, audible were you able to hear if somebody can put a comment were you able to hear it i can't see the chats not able to see the chats put it on whatsapp uh, uh, people who are in my community my students somebody just put it on whatsapp if it was audible okay it was not audible okay let me share the sound in that case okay okay <laughs> got it got it got it uh let me just figure this out okay just give me one minute let's see uh now this is embarrassing <laughs> let me try again ha ah, i think now it will work let's see i had showed the last time okay is and uh, the now? inspiration image is this i will put it on the screen also because it might not be uh, very clear as to uh, the image because it is on a cell phone okay so i'm not i'm doing the entire thing i'm doing this because you know um, when we start fabric painting as i said line painting uh, uh, is the best way to start okay because that will make your hand steady that will uh, uh, you will be able to make something very creative but at the same time uh, you know something really uh, basic that you can look forward to so i have already got the colors okay, okay so these are pale colors uh, last time i didn't uh, uh, spoken about other brands but uh, this time um, uh, i'm using pale light this one uh, is uh, black that is very primarily much uh, uh, very much used in um, uh, fabric painting and especially for uh, madhubani okay and these are some of the colors that i am i'll be using okay these are the bright colors as you see madhubani uh, madhubani painting uses lot of bright colors so this is chrome yellow this is uh, red i'll be using a little bit of red this is uh, bright green it is actually light green number 12 okay i'll be using this and uh, this is uh, orange okay uh, so th these are the colors that i will be using now uh, um uh, brush what brush do we need so we will need uh, uh, always for fine lines we use zero number brush this is camlin brush you know i always uh, they, they come with these kind of protectors so i always keep it back in these protectors it protects the uh, brush and to fill for you know some places there you need to fill color so with zero if you do that it takes a lot of time so for that i'll be using a number 2 brush okay again camlin brush number 2 this is also in uh, protective this thing for later on when we do different types of uh, the other type of fabric painting which involves filling shading etc i will so show you the other types of uh, brushes okay so first thing is we directly don't start like this okay so first that we do is we will put it on a frame so this is uh, the frame it is obviously has to be bigger than uh, the area that you want to um, uh, paint 
in i will put this in the frame so it is very easy you just uh, open it this one the inside one goes down you place it properly okay and then you put the okay it has to be nice and tight and before you tighten it tighten it a little bit just you know pull every side it has to be nice and uh, tight okay here now it is ready okay now you can start a painting or drawing so, so when you are pulling always remember that you know when we pull fabric and, and pull in any way so make sure that the drawing does, does not get distorted if you feel that it has got distorted a bit then you know uh, pull nicely properly so that, that it does not uh, so some, like here i felt that it has uh not it is not looking totally round so pull the fabric so that the drawing does not get distorted if the drawing gets distorted then you know you will be getting a, a final result will also be distorted right so um, adjust the fabric nicely so that the drawing is pretty much uniform okay so now that this is done use a little bit of water to thin the colors because these colors are very thick so we will not to be, uh, be able to use it uh, always with uh, thick colors so let me show you the effect when i am using a uh, uh, thick colors and when i am using things okay so uh, uh, water uh, is what i have taken i keep these plastic glasses you uh, as in you uh, plastic glasses for water so be because you know it becomes dirty so rather than using <laughs> utensil from the kitchen it's always easier so this is this is what i will be using and uh, let start we will start with uh, zero brush as i said okay brush zero and uh, we will start with the black color okay now um, this black i have used it many many times this is not a fresh paint but initially when you buy the spray paint is a uh, very fresh okay uh, and it is very thick so uh, this is kind of it has been uh, mixed nicely so what you can do is you can take it in the cap or you have a palette you can put it in the palette nicely i am not, not using palette right now because i am not doing any kind of shading okay i will be using solid colors and see whenever you use a color whenever you take the color in the brush it is very important that you drain off the excess color because if you don't drain off the excess color then what happens is uh, you know you will uh, it will leave a blob okay so, so for example i show it to you here if i don't drain the excess color so there is excess color here if i start you know see here you know there will be extra this thing and when the paint is very thick you know you will not get uh, at a stretch you will not be able to paint so it is always better that you thin it a little bit so you just put it in water like how i did right, right now in front of you and i just just adding bit of water okay so then what happens you will be able to paint a uh, much more uh, smoothly okay it will be it will give you a much uh, smoother result and whenever you are taking the paint just drain it keep, keep a, a cloth or fabric to wipe off uh, this paint uh, as and when you need okay i am keeping the insulation image in front of me so that um, i know what i am doing okay always start from the center because if you start from outside you will not be able to keep your hand so start from from the center if it is a, a, a thing that you know it is vertical uh, thing or something uh, like a vertical kind of a motif then start from top that you know because you know that your hand will be in the uh, 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 i mean below the thing otherwise if you start, start from uh, below then it will become very difficult for you to uh, complete the painting and see when i am uh, painting it gets uh, immediately absorbed by the fabric okay now now uh, when you are starting off it is possible that you know you have done painting earlier then it is perfectly fine your hands will be very steady but uh, uh, you know if your hands are not steady is steady then you know practice a bit before you actually do uh, fabric painting on any kind of garment or anything right so so 
फैब्रिक पेंटिंग स्पेशली मधु पेंटिंग इज वेरी फॉरगिविंग इफ यू नो सम यू फील दैट यू हैव मिस द लाइन यू कैन मेड अ लिटिल बिट थिक सो इट लुक्स लाइक अ शैडो व्हिच इज परफेक्टली फाइन लाइक हाउ आई डिड राइट नाउ ओके एंड सेम वे डू फॉर द अदर वन मेक श्योर दैट द कलर इज नॉट वेरी थिन इफ यू ऐड अ लॉट ऑफ कलर देन इट विल ब्लीड ऑन द फैब्रिक ओके इट विल स्प्रेड ऑन द फैब्रिक एंड इट विल स्पॉइल योर पेंट so as you see i have not, not done the, as as you see in the inspiration image there are lot, lot of things i have not drawn all the things because i uh, uh, i am doing free hand okay i have uh, most of the things i will do free hand but the basic things i want it so those things i have put. so here if you see it has bled a little bit because there was a little bit of oil uh, which had spilled here so uh, because of that you know it's uh, kind of absorbing now you might say that ma'am how do i uh, practice right so to practice it's very easy take a fabric okay and draw lines right so uh, keep drawing lines like this slowly then draw curves okay so this will give you a very good practice like you know draw curves the you can draw zigzag so it will give you a very good practice this is how kids are also taught um, um when they start is what uh, um how they are taught as well so i have taken a little bit more color i am adding a little bit of uh, what not much because my paint was not that uh, thick it was not very thin also it was uh, proper consistency of proper consistency okay now i am making the fins for line painting uh the color and as i said you just you have to ensure that the consistency is right you will understand once you start drawing where it is too thin whether it is uh, to uh, something that you can very easily understand main thing is your hands have to be pretty firm so that you know you are able to make nice smooth uh, line and if you have seen you know uh, sarees dupattas are made of madhubani you will see that it is free uh, flowing because they are hand painted okay they do have to be exact like you know perfect uh, like how it is in machine because then there won't be any difference it has to be organic it has to look that okay it is hand painted so it will be not absolutely uh, smooth somewhere it may be like you know it's going a bit out of a uh, uh, frame or you know it's not totally round or something Thing. so that is perfectly fine uh, if you are able to do it perfectly that that is also fine if you are not then don't worry too much about it you can you know uh, continue do, doing it i am taking more color right now I'm adding little bit of water so if you have seen you see that there would be irregularities and uh, that is perfectly uh, fine you know that is what you start with madhubani even if 
you it is your first time you, um, more often than not the result will be excellent okay now let us do a few more things like for the fish there is a, a second uh, line so i'm doing that second line i'm doing it free hand Same way I'll do for the other fish. So basically, as you see, we are what we are doing is it's like making outline. You know, uh, when you do drawing, how you do with the pencil. Same thing we are doing. It's just it's that we are doing with the uh, paint with fabric paint okay uh, uh, let's make the mouth here we'll fill it up with red color later on let's make the eye i'm not making outline of the eye right now because we have to fill it with uh, yellow color so i'll make it later I could have made the eye also later, but it's okay. I just uh, did that. Now let's make the fins. Again, send line. So this part is black, so I'm just filling it up. Now for the other one. We'll do exactly the same thing. Okay, there was a second line here also. So since I didn't wait inside, I'm making it outside. So I just so you can make some modifications or not. So that is perfectly uh, fine, you know. Nobody is going to. I mean, it looks equally good as long as it is clean, neat. The lines are proper. It is going to be okay. Next, uh, we can do because we are trying to finish the center part. So I'm doing all the things. Next, the next letters fill the body of the fish. So 
you have the confidence you can do it free hand if you feel that you know you should trace out completely then trace it out it is uh, totally your uh, convenience so you see that in madhubani there are a lot of lines which are filled with different uh, maybe other colors maybe more uh, lines smaller lines and all that so you know you just keep an inspiration image in front of you or maybe draw your own pattern first and then just follow what you have drawn little bit different than what it is in the image then comes out of the tail lines okay and this part of the fair tops i will do the uh, this fish also okay so there were many lines 1 2 3 4 5 6 lines so let me make the first line is pretty close second line is a little bit further so when you are making the brush so strokes you know sometimes uh, once you do it you will be able to understand hold the brush you know sometimes you will have to line it up with the fabric because there is excess color so we we are done 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 4, four lines are done let's make three more lines One, two, three, four, five, six. One more line. The number of times you go over the lines, it will keep getting thicker. Okay. Make sure the lines are not smooth. You know, do it all again on top of that, that so that it becomes smooth. Okay. Let's start the. There are three layers of fins here. This fish is a little bit fatter than the other one. <laughs> so Madhubani art is all about you know animals, peacocks. A um, lot of fish is always there in uh, Madhubani, and um, you know mostly animals are depicted. Birds. Nowadays, people are doing fusion. Also, the traditional uh, Madhubani had all these things. Nowadays, people are doing human being, 
things and all also so you know it's evolving the three layers of pins are done now move to the tail tail there was one two three four lines so let's make four lines four layers of scallops let's make the transition scales oh i made it reverse fine no problem Okay, and then let we'll just uh, I'll just fill it up just uh, to uh, uh, you know um, this tail is a little bit bigger. So yeah, so yeah, so you see the lines are not very thin, you know. So take the rough fabric and uh, you know deep your brush. So it will wash off the extra water, paint, etc. Okay, and then uh, you will get uh, better results. So now I want to make the second line. Let's quickly do that. I'm taking color again. Adding some water. I always prefer to do it in small batches because it gives me control over the paint, the consistency of the paint, and also so over uh, you know. Uh, I know that I will be wasting the paint. Now the second line is done. Uh, I want to do this line. Okay, this is not absolute circle as you can see. There is a little bit uh, crooked, so it is perfectly fine. So after painting and all, uh, once it dries up nicely, you can give it a nice wash. When you uh, wash it, not immediately, about after three four days, uh, when you wash it, the lines, this carbon thing will go okay it wouldn't uh, remain and um, then you iron it from the wrong side so it becomes it strengthens the color all nothing will happen this color will never wash off your fabric will tear but 
something will happen to the painting. But when you wash, what will happen? All the unwanted these lines will go, and the uh, uh, color will look more. The painting will look clean. Okay. Now let's make a second line. I want to make the second line inside. I was not doing this uh, for uh, the live session. I would have taken much more time and uh, done it even more, you know, patiently. You need to have a lot of patience when you are doing any kind of art, right? So second circle is complete. Let me take some more color. I am doing it on top of the painting. You don't do that because if the color is spilled, then uh, I am doing it so that you can see. But if you spill the color, you know, you wouldn't like it. It will get spoiled, right? Let's do the design for this one. Okay, it's normal uh, V's that we will be making. So what I'm doing is I'm just marking few uh, uh, All of them won't have to be of equal size. This is Madhubani hand painting. So you know, it is okay if they are of not same size. That is the beauty. Otherwise, there won't be any difference between in a, a print which is done in a mill and uh, uh, something that is done by hand. So the ones things that are done by hand are a little more organic. Uh, that is is what adds to the beauty that doesn't mean that you know it can be just absolutely crooked or, or something which is not pleasing to the eye
done. Okay. Now there are inside the triangles. So I'm just making the outline and then. Don't worry if you take somewhere little bit thin. If you have seen commercially, um, you know, when uh, the painters do it for, for uh, clothes there also it is there. So that is what I am continuing saying that, you know, you know, little bit of it adds to the organic touch, which is fine. Now, let's make some vertical lines here and then we will start filling. If you want it really fine, you can make these lines very close by. You can fill it with a color and then do the vertical lines. You know, you can do all kinds of things. If you want even more thin lines, you can take, you know, even finer brushes, double zero and all that. You can do that. I said zero because it is a little bit easier to manage, especially when you are starting off. Once you get a good control, you can use finer brushes also.
So basically, I'm just filling up all, all the triangles. Once I'm done with this, okay, I had just forgotten to fill this. Let me do the make the lines. Okay, yeah. So pretty much done with black right now. Okay, now let's start filling the color. Again, before we start filling the color, you uh, first clean your brush. Okay, take the fabric, wipe it off nicely. Okay, as good as new. Now to fill the colors. I, I will be using this uh, brush number two. Right, two is the number. I will be using this. And uh, let's start with the head of the fish. Uh, the head of the fish is chrome yellow. And the tail is also chrome yellow. Fin has also got chrome yellow. So I'm taking this chrome yellow. I'll take the color as uh, earlier. It has become a bit thick. It's on the verge of dying this color so when your colors become extra thick and grainy you know uh, that's when you can add some water and keep it so that it remains for a little bit longer but you know it's almost towards the once it becomes grainy means you know it's almost uh, towards the end of life so you have to finish it off before that otherwise it gets spoiled so This color is almost reaching end of life. I have mixed the color. Let's see if it works. So in the same as of now, I have not. This is very diluted water. It's looking black, but it is super diluted water. It will not change the color. Once you know it becomes thick, you have been painting for a long time, and you know the water also becomes thick with color. That's when you can change the water. You should change the water. I'll do the eye again. That's fine. There is yellow color in the fin. So this is chrome yellow. You can use the other normal yellow also. Chrome yellow is. Uh, when you buy a pack, a bigger pack of uh, fabric colors, that, that generally it comes with the chrome yellow. The other yellow uh, you can buy it loose. 
मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम अगेन इट डिपेंड्स फ्रॉम कंपनी टू कंपनी सो यू सी दैट व्हेन आई एम फिलिंग फर्स्ट थिंग दैट आई एम डूइंग इज आई एम डूइंग द बाउंड्री राइट द या द आउटलाइन दैट इज व्हिच इज नेक्स्ट टू द ब्लैक कलर सो दैट व्हेन आई स्टार्ट फिलिंग that does not get i mean the color so that you know it doesn't spill over the uh, outline so once you make the outline first it becomes easier to fill it one fish is done let's do this other fish i'm mixing more color so when the color becomes green it's a bit difficult to paint because you know it's thick doesn't always give smooth lines but uh, if you are comfortable with your brush you can use it to fill so I'm mixing the color right now i'm making it a bit smooth because it had become a bit grainy So basically, you see, since there are no shading, solid colors, it's very easy, uh, and you know, it's one of the easiest form to uh, start with. And actually, if you see, it gets done very um, quickly. It doesn't take a lot of time. Any kind of art will take some time, but compared to any other uh, kind of painting, because there is no shading, literally no shading. and uh, only line uh, painting is there it takes much less time let's do the fins and then we will do the tail so wherever the lines the black line if it has got you know covered because of this color you know we can go over it again towards the end so the fish is kind of uh, done i'll keep the yellow color put it out i'm washing the brush and i wipe it okay 
then uh, let's do the use the orange color so our color is okay the red color actually let's use the red color the red color is here and since this is a very small space i will actually use a zero brush only because these parts are very small Okay, so now I'm taking red color. I'm washing it again properly. Some black was there in the brush. So taking the red color, filling the mouth. So you see, it's pretty easy isn't much it's like uh, drawing you know uh, filling up a coloring book that's how easy it is uh fin this part is there and uh, there was this one which was red so same for the others So uh, that is done. Now um, what I will be doing is here there is a, a little bit of uh, orange in the tail, okay, and the green is also there. So we'll do uh, all those things. And there is nowhere red, so I'm just um, finishing off red. I don't need it. Orange. Before orange, let us take green, which is uh, uh, near the tail. And uh, yeah, one more thing is there. These had lines, so we didn't make the lines. Let's make them. These lines uh, uh, will have color. I'm also refining this come on top of black. I'm just refining that, making making it clean. And this also had vertical lines. Same way for this one. I will let the face, the head of the fish, dry. Uh, the yellow, that is. Uh, then I will uh, proceed with the eye.
okay so that much part is done next what i want to do is i want to add something to the fins also so the a middle layer of the fin i want to put vertical lines in that Next, we will finish the remaining. We'll fit up. So let's do the uh, tail. It is uh, green in color. I'm using the fine brush only. Uh, I'm taking the color in this. Okay, because this is way too thick. You won't be able to paint. And I'm adding water. Now let's do the tail. Again, if you know uh, the color, it over black a bit while painting don't worry you can again uh, you know use the black color later on and uh, make it clean you know roll it over again over the lines and uh, it will become proper So now here you see my green color has come on, on top of the black, uh, black color so it is fine I will go over the uh, go over the this part with the black color once again so it will become nice and clean But I'll do that once the green color has dried up a little bit. Otherwise, everything will get mixed and the color will change. Okay. Now, uh, next is... Um, next, there is no more green in this. Okay, in the uh, uh, fish. So, I'll just... Uh, close the cap of my green one and uh, yeah orange right so let's start with orange so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put orange in the fins also here and uh, one layer in the tail also okay again I'm using the thin brush only I'm not using 
the uh, brush is numbered two because uh, there's pretty uh, thin lines. Again, I'm taking the color here. I've taken and I'm just adding a little bit of water. So Madhubani paint are actually very colourful, they use a lot of colour, earlier I used to use vegetable colours, vegetable dyes and all that, uh, is we are using acrylic colours, but they are basically very colourful. So earlier days Madhubani art used to be uh, you know done on the walls or uh, uh, on paper or on fabric, but for a uh, like decor right to be hung on the wall not for uh, clothes that you wear because once you wash those vegetable dyes and all they are not uh, that uh, stable right it will wash off but nowadays because of acrylic color and uh, quick availability uh, it's easier to procure the colors and all it is the acrylic colors are used and uh, you get a huge variety of colors which is not possible with vegetable dyes So the fish is pretty much done. We'll just do these uh, triangles which are of a different color. I'm th thinking of doing it. Let me think. Uh, it's a little bit brown in chair. I don't want to. So let's do that. Okay, let's do brown. So, so for brown, how do you get? the brown color if you don't color, it's very easy I'll do it on the key later on I'll wipe it off all you need to do is you need to add green and red yeah see you are getting something like a dark brown color right now, now for this you have to be very uh, particular state with the zero brush because uh, it is easier to do this is dark brown and uh, you can change the color you add uh, white to it you will get a light, light brown you change uh, yellow you add yellow to it you will get a different shade of brown but in the dark brown chocolate brown is what you get when you mix red and green when you are mixing a different color in the cap remember to wash it off properly before putting the cap back on best is mixing should be done in a palette now because this is a very small part i am not uh, using a pad i am just trying to save my time
my brown color is getting over so i'll have to mix more colors before you make more colors remember that you'll have to put the brush back in the bottle so, so which means you'll have to wash it because otherwise the color in the, the bottle it will start changing if you don't wash it before putting it because now this is a different color so i'm washing it i'll take some red color a little bit more because I or you can use different brushes in different colors so here this good amount of red I've taken now I'm taking green and some water So see when the red uh, proportion of red and green are different you will get in shades of brown so make sure that the shade is proper that's why when you do it in this especially for colors which have been mixed uh, you have to be very particular so this one is a little bit lighter than this so i'll take a little bit more green and mix it It's ready. So I told you that here the black had got spilled out for this particular line. I told you don't worry. So you know because I am filling it up that has got covered. And that's not visible. As I had mentioned mentioned earlier you should start from top so ideally i should have started from here but i started from down um because you know it becomes difficult to keep your hand but luckily um uh, this is a very small motif a very small design so my hand is not resting on the design but uh, when you are doing a bigger design uh, be careful start from top not from down almost done only the eye okay and one more layer of the fin i'm thinking of adding the green color to the fin uh, not fin to the scales brown is uh, done okay i'll wash this off and keep it i wash this off 
and uh, keep it as well okay let's do the eyes and yeah i remember little bit of red was supposed to be done here alternate same way for this fish Going back with black, making the eye making one more line. This one again. This one in orange I'm doing only in the orange one. Center one. Eyes of the second fish. also with some color I'm thinking which let me use some sun green or rather pink let me some blue blue color I'm using some blue color I think the blue color is that I have is pretty thin let me just check it okay we'll do done I think uh, we are done pretty much only maybe later on I'll just clean up the uh, uh, black lines in some places but yeah we are pretty much done so this is Madhubati that we did today so try out your versions of 
madhubani art and share it in the facebook group i will put the link of the facebook group below so you can also join that group and share your art there so pretty long video yeah uh, <laughs> i guess many of you have already left it was a pretty long one i wanted to share the entire thing just so that you know you see that uh, it does take time and uh, you uh, go through the process of how this entire thing is so uh, this is the best way to start uh, fabric painting because it will make your hand very stable because it is just full of lines lots of different types of lines curved lines straight lines zigzag lines okay thin lines uh, uh, thick lines filling of the uh, spaces and also it will make your hand very steady so that when you do the next version of fabric painting which we will be doing on friday then you will be able to do it much more comfortably so friday we will be doing the shading okay uh, the kind of fabric painting which involves shading it needs a lot of practice actually but yeah you start somewhere so uh, you will be able to do that and uh, you know it will be much easier once you have done these lot of line paintings the reason why i shared madhubani is because madhubani you can use you can practice uh, uh, rough you can create decor cushion covers etc and then you can move on to uh, make dupattas uh, uh, you can do it in uh, kurtas uh, you can do it in baby frocks or uh, kids uh, garments etc right so it will give you a lot of practice and then when you do the uh, fabric painting with shading and all they will come out really professional because your hand will be very stable all you would need to know is or need to learn would be uh, you know how to merge the colors how to do the shading yeah so we will see that in the next live session i hope you liked this uh, um, uh, tutorial if uh, you liked it do uh, mention some comment something uh, like that you know so that i understand that it was uh, uh, liked and all that yeah so then uh, with that we'll end the session today <laughs> it's been quite late yeah and i'll see you in the next live session okay see you all bye bye have a nice night sleep bye